you're using this hitting pattern, just like baseball. Yeah. That's your golf grip. See how that looks? So it's just now you can hit it with the same pattern. The right hand's a little different because in, in baseball, your right hand's under. This one, it's right there like that. But so I'm Milo. Maverick. 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 Henry. Henry. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. And Maverick, tell us a little bit about you. Oh, so I just uh, actually just came out here to Dobson about a week and a half ago. So so working here? Uh, yep, yeah, working here now. Uh, just finished up my playing career, played baseball for a long, long time, played professionally for about six years, and obviously I love golf, but I'm a pitcher, so. You're from Provo? I'm from Utah? around there, Spanish Fork, Utah. Spanish Fork, so you're similar stomping grounds. I spent a lot of time up there in my life. I went to college up there as well, played some, some ball and mostly golf. Yeah. But yeah. Tell us a little bit about your golf game. Usually pitchers are pretty good. Yeah, so my, my biggest thing is just consistency. Like, you know, I'll, I'll play really good for 13, 14 holes, and then I hit one bad shot, it kind of loses it for me. But usually I'm pretty solid, pretty decent. I can stay in the fairways, pretty good off the tee okay. box. And off, pretty bad, off camera, you're telling me you generally shoot around 80, 80, 80, 80 85. 85. So you're decent. Yeah, that's not good, hole. but that's decent. <laughs> so you lose shot, you lose shots off the tee, or you drive it okay? I drive it okay. It's usually like, you know, if I have a you know a two, two hundred five, two ten in. I kind of like my fade starts to kind of come more of a slice. Okay. But my last little while that I've been playing, I've been drawing it quite a bit, and now they're getting into hooks. Okay. My slice has been kind of gone for a while now, and now I've been hooking it. But. Cool. Well, I just want to watch you to get started to see what you got. You probably have speed, is would be a, a really good educated guess. <laughs> Professional pitchers usually can swing a golf club pretty fast. I used to. Yeah. Swings out of sequence. Yep, there's plenty of speed, but you do what generally happens to baseball players. You hit it really high. Yeah. You hit it higher than really high. Yeah. He hits it nearly to the moon. <laughs> nearly to the moon. <laughs> nearly to the moon, with lots of speed. <laughs> yeah, I wish that was a lot lower. Well, we'll dial it down a little bit. Woo! Fly ball. It's hot, but it's high. <laughs> Hitting those shots like 165, 175. What's that, what club is that? Seven iron. With plenty of ball speed to hit at 185. Yeah. Just all that height just comes out high really quick. Wow. Yeah, got the speed. All right, you want to do a little review? Let's let's look at it real fast. Let's see. I love that. So first thing I noticed when I just start with face on. Yeah, we'll start okay. with face on. A pretty weak grip with the shaft back. Yeah. See so the shaft pointing right at your zipper. Yeah. And your grip's on fairly weak to begin with. Okay. Generally, that's going to lead to really high shots okay. unless you're really good at creating a lot of flex in your lead wrist, which you're a baseball player. Yeah. You don't do that. No. There's no way you're going to do that. And, no. and even with that ball, like middle back, you're still hitting it that high. Yeah. yeah. Which a lot of people try to do at home. They're probably sticking it back in their stance, trying to hit it low, or, and it doesn't work. It's not yeah. going to go any lower. They just throw more loft at it. Play it more back. <laughs> <laughs> and you swing it back really big turn, get a little leany on it. Okay. And you're going to hit it back behind Woo! yourself. There we go. That's why it goes so high. So, so you're, you're hitting it off your right thigh. Yeah. So you, yeah, you're square in the face by, can I borrow the club? Yeah, absolutely. So you're squaring, I'll face the camera. You're squaring the face by putting the brakes on the handle and hitting the ball like this. Yeah, so well, what, that puts a lot of loft on the ball. That's why you hit it to the moon. And farther back you move it, it's still gonna get scooped up, okay? The root cause is how you hold the golf club. I want you to pretend that's a baseball bat. Hold that, hold, hold this end like it's a bat. It's, I know it's real skinny. But if a pitch was coming right here, here comes a pitch, you're gonna hit it. Boom. See how your hands look? Yeah. Leave your hands just like that and let me have the bat. Now put that down there like a golf club. That's how you should grip it. Did that change how your hand looks? Right hand a little more under too. Right there. Does that feel any different? 
a lot different. Now, imagine you're going to hit me in the foot there. Go to impact. Turn your left hip out of the way more. Could you hit it right there and take some loft off of it with a square face? Yeah. For sure, right? Yeah. With how you held it before, go back to your original grip. Now, see what you have to do with your left wrist to get it up there? Way. You're not going to do that. You, you, your brain knows how to hit like a baseball player, which is better in my opinion anyway. So, so right, there. right there. Right hand could be just a little more under. Good. Something like right there. And then you're going to feel like you hit it like with some hinge there, and your body's going to be like that. Okay. I've, seen a, I've seen a million baseball players, and I've described the process that you go through. Your, your hands are really good. I can put your hands on however I want to put them on, and you're going to figure out how to hit it kind of straight. Just like throwing a ball, you can spin it, right, yeah. and make it curve different ways. The problem is it's going to go straight yeah. and straight up. So let's just start with some, ba some baby shots. Okay. Can I borrow that? Absolutely. So we're going to get that grip. I want to exaggerate. I want you to take the handle and you're going to aim it right at your left thigh. Put that left hand on so you can see all four knuckles. Okay. Then get the right hand so it just sets on so it's pointing straight at your target. And then we're going to hit some little chip shots like this. And see the height on that? Yeah. I want to see if you can duplicate that and just hit me some little line drives with the seven iron. Okay. Handle pointing toward your left leg. Now left hand a little stronger. More. Can you see all four knuckles on that left hand? Yep. Okay, now right hand on the side, good. Now you're just going to turn it back to here right and hinge it like this. Okay. Give me a little good. softness in that elbow, good. And then you're just going to turn and hit a little chip shot. Okay. That wasn't a little chip <laughs> shot. <laughs> I want you to hit it. See this this white little thing in front of us that says smashers on? Yeah. Hit it, hit that thing. Okay. A low line drive right to that. That's as far as you're trying to hit it. So it's like a chip around the green. Okay, good. Do it again. Handle's not forward enough. It's pointing at your zipper. Good. It's pretty high. Is that face just open on that one? The face was a little open. So we're only taking it back to right here. Swing it back. And then we're going to deliver it without using your hands. Just turn your left side, kind of flex into the ground, and turn your left side out of the way. You're not going to, you're too high though. So you're going to have to. Back here. Now feel like you fall into the ground a little bit. Now turn. Boom. Feel that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go slow. Milo, when I lower, I always chunk. Why? Because you throw it at it. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Better. When you pitch, you throw with control, right? Yeah. It's just not, it's not all gas all the time. Most of the time it was for me. Yeah. How, do you throw pretty hard? I threw pretty hard, but like even my off-speed stuff was harder. hard. Yeah. So you're taking it back to right here. All turn, so you're going to use your body to turn it to there. There you go. Now use your body to turn it to the ball. So just once I'm here, just throw my body. Pretty just let your body unwind. Okay. So just turn it back to my hand. I'm just going to put this here as a reference. So how you, you ran into me pretty hard? Yeah. So all turn, all turn. That's better. Try to stop before you hit the stick. So you're going to turn, change directions before you hit the stick. Okay. And then just chip it out there like 10 feet in the air. Yeah, that was good. Like that. Handle forward, stronger grip. Stronger, more, 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 more. I can't see four knuckles. Okay. Can you feel how you really want to just throw this out? Well, you trained that because you had a weak grip, so you, t for you to square it, you had, you, that's how you had could do it. Them. You had to throw them. Now I want to turn them off. <laughs> okay. That was better. That was close. That's pretty good. You can see the trajectory is way down on that. Yeah, a lot better. Your hands turn, but don't grip it real tight. Just grip it nice and light like a baseball, like you're throwing it. Then just turn it back to here and then gently turn back into it. What would happen if you rolled over a baseball like that? Same thing. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Chopper to third, right? Yeah. Okay, stop. Give me that club. I'm going to make you use a stick and the grip. So you're just going to hold this like this. And the idea here is, see how it's resting on my left side? Yep. That's the last time it touches you. Okay. Turn. 
turn. See how it's not touching me? Let's see if you can if you can do that without a ball first. So it's touching you now, doesn't touch you anymore. Turn back. Did it touch you again? Okay, don't let it touch you. Turn it back here and stop. I feel like we pointed a little more vertical like that. Okay, now from there, you're just gonna turn through. See how it never touched again? Good. You gotta learn to do that. That's gonna be for you, that's gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. It's gonna whack you, I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough, right? For you, this is like your, this is gonna be where you live for a little while, learning how to deliver the golf club without just flicking it out of the top hard. Slow it down. Oh, baby. There you go. There we go. Back that? swing wasn't crazy either. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now, Take that away and do the exact same thing, but gentle. That that's going to be your speed. I'm not letting you go fast today. Gentle. <laughs> you can't go fast. Gentle. Fast is a given for you. It's never going to go slow. Strong. That grip went weak again. It's... Take your hands off. Now regrip it with the hands where they feel like they're a little more under. Not not that much with the right. Right there. There you go. Voila. That good. Feel that? Yeah. That's awesome. That really good. There you go. So now your body's starting to be active. Yeah. Give me one more like that and we're done. That's all I got for today. I can't teach you anything else until you learn that. A little stronger. Get the handle leaning forward before you grip it. That left hand's not strong. There we go. Good. Now his ball position's forward and he's hitting it lower. Okay. There we go. Game on. Well, that was fun. Yeah. You learn anything? Yeah, a lot. Okay, there you go. Just recreate it. So re remember, you're, you're using it. this hitting pattern, just like baseball. Yeah. That's your golf grip. See how that looks? So it's just staying. Now you can hit it with the same pattern. The right hand's a little different because in, in baseball your right hand's under, this one it's right there like that. But that's really the only difference in, in the grips. Okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Awesome. I like that feel. Awesome. Sure. Awesome.